All right, so in this problem, we have a series of numbers, and we want to know what the next number in the series will be. So let's take a look at our transitions. Moving from 2 to 3, it seems like we are adding 1. Moving from 3 to 6, we are multiplying by 2. Moving from 6 to 18, we multiply by 3. Now, a very natural transition for the next one to be is to multiply by 4. But when we multiply by 4, we get 72, which does show up as the answer, but is incorrect. And that is because it does not explain this first transition between plus 1 and times 2. So let's try to think of a different pattern that can match our number series. We could think about these transitions as the multiplication of the two previous numbers in the series to get to the next number. That means that 2 times 3 gives us 6, and 3 times 6 gives us 18. So if we continue this pattern, if we multiply 6 by 18, we get 108, which is the next number in our series and corresponds with answer D.